in this example, we will analyze an autonomous equation and see what we can figure out the solution just by looking at the equation itself. We have this autonomous differential equation here. dy dt is 2y times y minus 2 quantity squared times y minus 6 all to the third. I want to find the equilibrium solutions, determine their stability, draw a phase line, and sketch graphs of the solutions. So the first step here is always to find the equilibrium solutions. And this is where the function on the right side here is 0. So I'll set 2y times y minus 2 squared times y minus 6 cubed equal to 0. In this case, we can clearly see the three solutions here are at y equals 0, y equals 2, and y equals 6. With that, we can now draw our phase line and use the phase line to determine the stability. Here's my phase line. I'll mark 0, 2, and 6 on here. And now I plug in, if I plug in negative 1, I will get a negative 2 here. I will get a negative 3 squared here, which is a positive 9. And then I'll see a negative 7 here cubed, which is still negative. So negative, positive, negative, that's a positive. So negative 1 has a positive, so that's positive down there. If I plug in 1, I will see 2 in the front. I see a 1 squared is positive, and a negative number is negative. So plus, plus, minus is negative. If I plug in 3, I will get 6 in the front. From that, I will see a 3 minus 2 is a 1 squared, which is still positive, and that's negative, is still negative. And if I plug in 7, everything there is positive, so that is a positive number. So I can now describe stability too. We can see that at 6, because the solutions that are below go down, they go away, and above, they're positive, they also go away. This is unstable. For 2, we see that the solutions that are above are coming down into 2, which is good. Which is that are below are also diving down, so they're going away. This is semi-stable. And for 0, the above solutions are coming down to it, and the bottom ones are coming up to it. That means it is an asymptotically stable equilibrium solution. And now we can use the information to draw a sketch of some of the solution curves for this equation. There are some axes. Here is my phase line. I can draw in the three equilibrium solutions first, and then fill in other curves following the directions provided by the phase line. Down here, it's increasing, so it's going to come up like this. Here, it is decreasing, it's going to come down like this. If I start higher up, I probably have a little bit of a curve there first, and then I flatten out. Here, we are still decreasing, like that, and above here, we are going up. There's a sketch of possible trajectories for this equation. They're not exact, obviously, because they're sketches, but they give you the idea of what's going to happen to a solution in a given region. And that's how you can take an autonomous equation. Find the equilibrium solutions, sketch the phase line, find stability, and use all the information together to then draw a sketch of trajectories for this solution over a range of initial conditions.